So I did a RimWorld run playing as Doomguy on all the hardest settings. But while I was doing that run, I was learning the game. I got to a point in the run where I wasn't progressing that well because the challenges that were being thrown at me were too difficult. And so today we're gonna be doing another Naked Brutality run on Merciless with Raining Random as a storyteller. The seed of the map is called Demonetization, which doesn't mean anything. I'm just telling you guys in case and you guys wanna play the same map seed. I wanna try out the arid shrubland terrain, which is fairly hot. The average temperature is 28 Celsius, which is 82 degrees Fahrenheit. There's a ton of hostile factions all these factions around me are hostile except for this one way over here is neutral and then there's a really hostile faction pretty far over towards the right we're gonna start right in the middle of all these factions and we could actually start on the road part of the reason why i should start over was because my first doom guy wasn't really doom guy like i gave him a good amount of construction which he's not good at constructing he's not good at mining he's not good at cooking he's not good at planting like i gave him 20 planting can you imagine doom guy planting like no he's not good at crafting and he's not good at medical either the only thing doom guy is really good at is shooting in melee so i'm gonna give him 20 in shooting 20 in melee and he's gonna have a burning passion for both of those doom guy was a soldier who was ordered to fire upon unarmed civilians he basically said no i'm not gonna do that and punched his commanding officer in the face and apparently killed him and then he got transferred from earth to mars this character sounds about right a wall soldier and he just gets a shooting and melee bonus which is gonna allow us to start with zero in everything that's not shooting or melee this time around i'm gonna make doom guy's trace more savage and we're gonna give him bloodlust we're gonna give him iron willed which makes it so it's harder for him to have a mental breakdown when you think of doom guy you don't think of someone that's just crying in the corner we're also going to give him jogger again so he's quicker than most people we're also going to make him a masochist so he likes pain so people in the comments were saying he should be a psychopath but i feel like doom guy does have empathy he was really sad when his pet rabbit died and he wouldn't hurt the unarmed civilians so we're not gonna make him a psychopath he's a quick sleeper so he doesn't need to sleep that much doom guy has thick skin dense flesh and durable bones doom guy has a naturally powerful immune system he can survive illnesses that would kill others pew 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 doom guy just likes pulling the trigger he shoots faster than others but less accurately so he has less aiming time, but he's less accurate. And I think he should also be sanguine. He's naturally upbeat about a situation pretty much all the time, no matter what it is. If you think about Doom Guy and like all the terrible situations he's had to deal with, I feel like if he wasn't naturally upbeat, he would have just given up a long time ago. And so I'll just go through the traits really fast. Bloodlust, Iron Willed, Jogger, Quick Sleeper, Tough, Super Immune, Trigger Happy, Masochist, and Sanguine. And he's absolutely terrible at everything that's not shooting in melee. Alrighty, so here's the map. We're looking at a lot of desert. Like there's a lot of sand. There's actually some rich soil over here. There's kind of like an oasis type of thing. Or actually right here, there's a lot of rich soil. And there's a building that's already pre-built for us. I think we'll probably settle around that. How's our mood looking? It's looking pretty good. We got Sanguine for a mood bonus. And the only thing negative we have going on so far is we're naked. Temperature's looking pretty good, 17 degrees Celsius, which is a cool 62 Fahrenheit. First thing we're gonna do is chop down some trees, which is gonna take quite some time. And by the way, I just realized we're gonna have problems with wood because there's not a lot of trees on this map. Like there are cactuses, I guess. But yeah, this is gonna be a bit rough. Wood's definitely gonna be a problem here. I think first things first, we don't even make a base or like a bed or anything. And we literally just plop down a crafting spot, which does have a 5% work penalty for being out doors and we just make a bow like right away we can make a bow what can we make can we make a knife it requires 30 metallic i think in order to get metallic we'd have to like mine granite we can make a club out of wood let's just do that it takes 40 wood and we have 19 here oh man this is gonna be rough this tree hopefully should give us over 21 wood it gave us 19 okay all right we finally got enough wood to make a club and this club is gonna be terrible quality by the way with doom guys zero crafting skill it actually doesn't even say the quality it does 5.6 dps it's not bad i think we should focus on hunting some animals like this ostrich maybe the ostrich is attacking us back but it's doing like no damage we stunned it we're doing really good damage to it doom guy dodged again he's dodging mad attacks we blinded the ostrich and we knocked it out we didn't take any damage in order to eat the ostrich meat we're definitely going to want a campfire and we're going to want to put this inside and actually now i think about it we're going to need to haul all these marble chunks out of the base because they reduce the base's cleanliness they give it a negative two cleanliness and we need the area around the campfire to be clean doom guy's cooking skill is going to be terrible so he might get food poisoning right off the bat but if he does get food poisoning we don't want it to be because we cooked in a dirty environment and so we're going to clean up all this rubble as well we should definitely wall the base in two and put a bed down because just in case doom guy is fighting and he gets injured we're gonna need to have him sleep it off oh construction botched i forgot about that if the construction skill is below eight he can botch the construction which makes it so we lose i think half the materials we spent on whatever we botched is he gonna botch the door that's the main thing because this thing costs 25 wood i don't really care about botching the wall because that's only five wood do not botch the door doom guy you can do this 
Okay, he got it. Phew. Let's finish this wall and then the campfire as well. And we got the campfire going. Okay, awesome. Let's pop down a butcher spot and let's butcher this ostrich now. We don't have the roof on the base, by the way, which could be a problem. Although it is clean, so that's okay. I think we just do get a penalty of, I think it's 5% for working outdoors. All right, the room is clean. Now let's cook and we'll see if RNG is on our side. Will Doom guy get sick after eating his first meal? He did not get sick. Very nice. With a zero cooking skill, he had a 20% chance to get sick, so we got lucky there. And we're just gonna have him keep cooking for now. If we just get up to one cooking, the chance goes down to 10% that we get food poisoning. There's dirt on the ground, we need to clean that up. We're gonna have him do cooking as his number two priority and cleaning as his number one. So if he does make dirt while he's cooking, he will clean that up before he cooks another meal. I think the campfire does make dirt too, like it makes ash or whatever. Let's see, how much skill are we getting per meal? We're at 584. I think we're getting a pretty good amount. 639, so he gets like 50 skill per meal he cooks. He needs some rest, but I think resting without a bed gives him very little rest. And so we're going to chop down some more cactuses, and we're going to make a bed. He's getting better at planting skill. He's got one planting skill now, and one construction as well. Bed takes 45 wood. I don't think we have quite 45 wood. 34 plus 10. We need one wood. Oh, there's a tree up here. We'll go chop that baby down, and we'll make him a bed. Oh no, he's eating another meal. This could be bad. Oh, he got lucky. I guess he didn't really get lucky. It would be kind of more one of those things where he'd get unlucky if he got food poisoning at 20% rate. But yeah, here goes the bed. Let's hope he doesn't botch it. That would be like 20 wood down the drain and we have to cut another tree. And he didn't botch it. Good job. And now he's gonna rest. Oh no, it's a heat wave. Well, we might be screwed here because already Doom Guy's getting hot. He's sweaty and the heat wave hasn't even kicked in yet. It's only 33 degrees Celsius, which is hot, but it's going to get up to like 55, I think, which is 131 Fahrenheit. It's 8 p.m. and the temperature is still going up. I think we're going to need some clothes ASAP. Evidently, camel hair does really well against the heat, which does make sense. So we're going to take out one of these dromedaries and we're going to hope they all don't enrage and charge at us. I'm not even sure if Doom Guy can take it out. I don't know how strong these things are. And Doomguy dodged the first attack. He got hit. He is tough though, so it didn't do much to him. And yeah, he's doing work on that dromedary camel thing. It's blinded. It's getting pretty low. And we got it. Doomguy did get hurt a little bit, and he is bleeding, but he's not in any immediate danger. We're going to butcher this thing, and I really hope it gives us 60 camel leather. If not, then we're going to have to go out and kill another one. We got 25 camel hide only. Oh no. And he's eating another meal. 20% chance to get food poisoning, and that's probably GG if it happens. Okay, good. It wouldn't be GG necessarily, but it would be really bad, I think. And then, oh yeah, we got to enable self-tend, and he can tend to himself. I completely forgot about the fact that we could actually build a cooler and we could actually move the campfire outdoors or separate the room off, I guess. Maybe we should just focus on that first, just so we can get rid of the heat stroke. It says heat stroke minor still, but now he gets a 10% movement penalty, and so I think the heat stroke is getting gradually worse, like it's 49 degrees outdoors. We're going to deconstruct the campfire and we're going to build a cooler ASAP. And so we're just going to have him build that and hopefully he doesn't botch it. Okay, good, he didn't botch it, and we're gonna deconstruct this campfire. Is the base roofed in? It is not roofed in at all. What are you doing, Doom Guy? Roof that baby in. Almost got it all roofed in. I don't even know if we need to build roofs over the doors and the walls, but we're just gonna do it anyways. And I think we're good to go now. It's 34 degrees inside, and the temperature is going down. And yeah, the heat stroke is now serious. We get a 30% movement penalty, but I think it should start getting better. And yeah, the heat stroke's actually gone. It's completely done for in a second here. His movement's back up to 85%. All right, Doom Guy's up. It is still really hot outside. It's 38, but his heat stroke's all gone. And he's gonna have some time in the heat before he does get heat stroke again. We're gonna chop down some more trees, and there are some berries out here. I prefer eating those berries over trying to eat raw meat. All right, we got some of the wood back, and we're just gonna start with the doors. And we're gonna hope that he doesn't botch the doors. That's the main concern. And he didn't botch the first one. Okay, awesome. Second one. He did not botch. Awesome. And so yeah, I think a kitchen like this should be enough space and then we'll have a campfire down here and then he'll sit in the middle. So I think he'll be able to grab the materials from any side. You guys will see what I mean in a minute when he's cooking. Um, but we are out of wood and Doom Guy is really hungry. There's a massive field of agave over here and we're going to start harvesting some of that. And I'm pretty sure we can eat that. Let's see, can we eat the agave fruit raw? Like I think we should be able to, right? He got the eight raw food moodlet for eating the agave fruit. Okay, well we don't want that. No more agave fruit for Doom Guy. All right, so we got the campfire up and running in and now we're going to cook up this camel meat which it's going to spoil in four hours and we have 64 of it to cook it's not really a big deal if it does spoil though because we have to hunt more camels anyways the main thing is i just want to get doom guys cooking up to level one that will lower the chance of food poisoning from 20 down to 10 and it looks like he finally got it we're actually going to make sure that we can move these meals 
So Doom Guy cooked a meal when he had one cooking skill, which made it so he only has a 10% chance of getting food poisoning. However, he put it on the stack of old meals that he cooked when he had zero cooking skill, which I think there was like a stack of seven. And it averages out the chance of getting food poisoning between all the meals. So I want to say it was still like a 17 or 18% chance of getting food poisoning. So at this point, even though Doom Guy was really hungry and tired, and he hadn't done any recreation recently, since he was all healed up, I decided to go take on another camel. Here we go. Oh, he got hit right away. He got hit in his tibia and his leg. In his arm. How's the camel doing though? It's kind of low. Half HP. So far Doom Guy's okay. Like he's not bleeding bad. Okay, cool. We knocked it out. He's gonna have to self 10 and those wounds weren't too bad. I feel like it's good that he got wounded before. Oh no, he ate the agave fruit. I was not paying attention. He didn't get food poisoning though, which is good. I feel like it's good before he got wounded before sleeping. So now he can just sleep off of the wounds. They'll be healed a bit versus like going out hunting right when he wakes up then getting wounded. Like, yeah, his tibia, both his tibias actually got wounded, but they healed up a bit. And he's moving at 91% now, actually. All right, now we're gonna butcher the camel and we're just gonna do it in the butcher spot. We only get 30 leather, which uh, we need five more leather only. Do not eat the raw meat, you dummy. Cook it first. Hopefully I'll put the new foods. Oh, we put it right on the old simple meal. Okay, I put all them in his inventory and then let's consume this one. 10% chance of food poisoning. It's not very likely we get food poisoning here. All right, cool. We didn't get it. And Doom Guy's not fully healed up yet, but he's pretty much good to go. We're going to have him take on this last camel. So far, he dodged. Dodged two in a row. Might have dodged the first attack, too. Finally got hit in his torso, I think. No? Okay, there we go. He got hit in his leg. Got hit in his torso. He dodged another attack. That's good. This is going much better than the last fight, I think. Oh, yeah. That went really well. All right, let's haul this baby back, butcher it up, and then we'll turn this camel into a camel coat, which like now the temperature outdoors is 23 Celsius, which we don't even need heat protection because yeah, the heat wave's completely over. It's been over for some time now, but then again, it is early in the morning. I think it's going to heat up later on in the day. I think we got 30 camel hide from that last camel because we have 25 left over. Let's see what quality of the coat is with his zero crafting skill he made a poor coat and actually that's not that bad i looked it up there's a 64 percent chance it's awful and a 30 percent chance it's poor with a zero crafting skill five percent chance only that it's normal so that's not happening and it gives us 11.9 protection against the heat that's not that much but i think that's just because it's poor i mean it is something and now he's not naked anymore so he loses the naked moodlet debuff crafting that tribal wear actually gave him a lot of crafting skill too he's up to 763 points out of 1000 so he just needs to craft like one more thing and looking at the wildlife menu there is currently Really no more camels on the map. There's a cougar though. We could try to hunt that. I'm pretty sure we can't take the elephants. Cougar hunting doom guy. Oh, well, <laughs> there goes our option of choice. We just have to fight this thing straight up. What's our health doing? We're not hit yet. And the cougar is going down. Okay, we got tagged pretty hard. Bleeding 43% with just one hit. We're dodging it. Dodged. We stunned it. That's really good. I think we're doing work on it. Oh, we knocked it out and we didn't even really get hit i think we might have got some really good rng there or cougars are less terrifying than camels but yeah here's what i mean about like efficiency so we got the meat all around doom guy and he just has to pretty much not even walk at all he can just grab it and then throw it on the campfire and allows him to cook meals up really quickly but yeah so there's meat everywhere doom guys grabbing all this meat i mean who wouldn't love to be in doom guys position right now that being said i'm gonna end this episode right here and i'm thinking i might go back to doing daily videos and like for example this was just a starter episode tomorrow's episode will have a lot more action and essentially if this were a longer video i don't think i would have uploaded this today i'm mainly just curious as to like how the algorithm is affected by daily uploads and like what do you guys think do you prefer longer videos every two days or do you prefer daily uploads that are a bit shorter i do apologize for starting over but i do feel like it was necessary as i want to make this run a successful run and that last run just was not a successful run if you guys liked it and you want to see more rimworld then drop a like thank you all for watching and i will see you in the next one